I will make your prayers acceptable to God. There's a story called The King's Tale. McCain has children, and the oldest is a son, and there's another little boy or little girl. I forgot if it's a boy or girl, but it works either way. Um, that runs out into a field and wants to collect this huge bouquet of flowers for father. And the father looks at the older son and, and says, my little one is going to go and give me a bouquet of flowers, but it needs to be suitable for the king. And as the little, we'll say it's a little girl, as the little girl is running here and there, she's getting some flowers and she's getting some weeds. And it's a mixed bag of beauty and, I don't know, yeah, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, so maybe some people like weeds. They're not fit for a king. And before this little child hands it to the king, it's handed to the older brother. And the older brother gently, kindly, and lovingly pulls out the weeds pulls out the pieces of grass and puts it together in a bouquet fit for a king, hands it back to his little sister in order to present to the king for the throne of God. That is what the Spirit and the Son do in making our prayers appropriate for a king. We have a mixed bag of selfishness and God's glory, okay, that we are praying. And a lot of times what goes like, I, I don't even know how to pray, right? So I won't even pray. The crazy thing is the Spirit of God helps you in a way to where you can't get it wrong. If the Spirit of God lives in you, the mixed bag of all this stuff, the Son is there, the Spirit is there. They've got your back and they're saying, just pray. Just go to God. Don't worry about what mixed bag of things it's going to be. I'm going to make it acceptable to your father. He's going to hear. He's going to help. He's going to respond. He doesn't give up. Sometimes we don't want to pray, do we? Sometimes life will hit us square in the nose to the point where it's like, it's useless. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make sense. I can't do it. And here it says the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. It's interesting. The Holy Spirit actually is not the one doing the groaning here. The Holy Spirit is omniscient and omnipotent and omnipresent. He's powerful. He is of the Godhead. He doesn't have to rack his brain and go, now, God, I'm going to make my prayers acceptable to you. The Holy Spirit doesn't have to do any of those things. But you know what the Holy Spirit does is inside you and inside me when we don't know how to pray. He produces a holy groan in you and me. And you've been there. I've been there. I don't know the pain, the agony, the struggle is such that I can do nothing but groan. And this verse tells me God is holding me and helping me groan. And then God knows how to interpret and translate my groan to get it to the Father to where eventually I will get the help that I need. Even in the groaning. Because God searches hearts. He searches hearts. I sat down with someone who was struggling and he said, I, I feel like when I pray, I just am in a dark bedroom and I'm just talking and nothing. And I asked, I said, what if Jesus came and sat beside you on the bed in that dark bedroom, what would he do? Immediately, this man said, I, I think he would understand. He would empathize. He would sympathize. You are not being critiqued 
by your Savior. You are being understood by your Savior who searches your heart and knows how desperately you need him and you need his help. Don't let the enemy and don't let your inner critic think that God Almighty who is love judges and critiques and condemns you. There is now therefore no condemnation if you are in Christ Jesus. He comes beside you to help you, to rescue you, to save you, to deliver you, to heal you, and to remind you that no matter what comes, hell or high water, no matter how bad life is, he himself by himself is capable of getting you all the way home to glory and to heaven. He will get it done. When Jesus came as a baby, he already had the cross and the resurrection and heaven in mind. And his plan does not fail.